All right, Sketchpad Podcast, you know what it is. We back. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about Jonah Hill. And was he abusive to his girlfriend from back in 2021? She released the text messages. And I also want to talk about social media has this stigma around men. And do they put men in a certain situation, even when they're not being abusive? Do they make men out to be the monster? Let's get into it, man. Friends accusing him of abuse. So now she decides to take to social media and uh, post these texts from way back when. So uh, I'm going to read one of these texts from Jonah Hill, and you guys can comment below on what your thoughts were. You know what I mean? And make sure you tag Sketchpad Podcast. Anywho, it says plain and simple. If you need, and then it got the marks on there or whatever, then it says surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexually, sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting lunch or coffee or something respectful i am not the partner for you if these things bring you to a place of happiness i support it and there will be no hard feelings there are my boundaries for romantic partners my boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust then it says at the bound at the bottom see the misuse of term boundaries (laughs) yo i got so much to say about this this is wild look all right man first of all you see how when it comes to men we always have to walk on eggshells with everything. You know what I'm saying? So now men can't have boundaries. We can't. We can't have desires. We can't have wants. Women can do whatever they want. We can't tell a woman what our standards are because as a man, we don't supposed to have standards. We don't supposed to uh, uh, say things like we don't like we don't like heavy set women or fat women. We don't supposed to say that because if we say it, it's fat shaming. You know what I'm saying? We don't supposed to say that we don't like short girls. We don't supposed to say we don't like, like girls, dumb girls. We don't supposed to say that. Now, this man, he put it in plain day, plain day and said to her, you could do whatever you want, but this is my standard and this is what I'm asking you for. But if you don't do it, more power to you. And I'll support you. If you're happy, then you go do it over there. But you're not going to do that here. Mm -hmm. And the internet is in a frenzy. She posted stuff and she, in her, her caption was, she put out that this is how an abusive relationship uh, turns out. Ladies run far away from men like this. So let me get this right. Your man is checking you and telling you he don't want you to be posing, putting out provocative pictures and nasty things and hanging with women that's unstable and they they not trustworthy. And you're telling me that you're telling women to run away from a man like that when he's telling you to respect yourself as a woman. This 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 can't be real. This can't be real. It's real. All right. It's real. It's the world we live in. It's this can't the world be real. So, it's so, the world we live in. it's just what I'm saying. So, 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 
she's out here thinking that she's being heroic by putting these messages out. Now, I'm going to tell you why I believe she put it out. He is with another girl. They don't date anymore. He moved on. This was from 2021. We are in 2023. He has a baby and another girl right now. I think that she's jealous that he's with someone else and he moved on. And she can't stand the fact that he basically left her for the shit that she, excuse me, for the things that she did. She got caught up in her own, in her own web. And now she want people to feel empathy for her because she was the one that messed up. So what she do, she tried to embarrass him by putting it on him saying, well, this is the reason why we broke up, but it's been two years, two years. You release the information now because what you want everybody to feel sorry for you because you know, deep down in your head and deep down in your heart, you know, he was right. He was right. And you can't stand it. So you gotta, you gotta have something over top of him and embarrass him. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. The thing is, right. We have these entitled women that, uh, that basically don't want to be checked or don't want to be correct or don't want to be told nothing. So let me get this right. You got a decent guy who's telling you to respect yourself and you don't want to respect yourself. You know what I'm saying? And and this kind of like plays into my point and your point when we spoke about the Kiki situation. You know what I mean? And he didn't, at the point in time where he knew he was going to feel some type of way with the way she was dressed. So instead of her pulling her to the side and let him know, let her know that, yo, you know what I mean? You got, you got, you got to dial it back a little bit. He decides to check everything in public. And then you see how it got magnified into something crazy. It's the same thing with this. She posts these texts and it got magnified into something crazy. This is not abuse. Those texts that I read were not abuse. That's him setting his standards and telling you what he wants out of the woman that he dates. And you decide that's not what you want because maybe you feel that Jonah Hill's a boring guy and yada, yada, yada. He doesn't want to have any fun. Nah, I'm pretty sure he has plenty of fun, ma. But that's not what he wants his woman to do. Simple as that. Everybody has their standards. Who are you to tell somebody else to change their standards for you? You know what I'm saying? Are you changing your standards for him? not changing it you still want to do what you want to do you know what i mean and that's kind of like the world we living in today with these women man you know what i mean it's it's not cool you're right i think i think she's salty the fact that he moved on and he was a man of his word and i think that that stuck with her because you can't get around those texts you could say it's abuse all you want if that's abuse then we doomed men are doomed. I'm going to tell you right now because he basically told her, these are my boundaries. And it's like, this is what I want. If he wants that, who are you to tell him he can't have it? Exactly. He, he basically gave you the, the door. He said, listen, I'll still support you if that's what you want to do, but you can't do it with me. I'm not going to have my girlfriend out here posting provocative things. For what? And this is my this is my gripe with women when it comes to social media. I had a show about this with a panel of people. And I asked what the girls, I said, I said, would y'all de delete? If your man told you he wanted you to delete your social media, would you delete it? And the first thing they said was, well, he has to delete his too. And it's like, that wasn't the question. The question was, if your man asked you to delete your social media, would you do it? Well, why can't he delete his? That wasn't the question. And I think that this is the thing with women. It has to be a tit for tat every time. 
It can't just be your man says something and you and listen. That's it. Especially if he's a good man. If he's a good man, then you should have no problem with listening to your man. Because guess what? And I'm going to keep saying this. If a burglar run in the house, who you expect to go and tackle the burglar? The man. If a dude jump out of the, the, the woods with a gun, who you expect to jump in front of that gun? The man. If a dude snatches your purse, who you expect to run after him? The man. If a dude put, your, put his hands on you, who you expect to, do, to defend you? The man. Mm -hmm. I, this, this is what I mean. So when, when people like her get online and he spew this garbage, it's just basically to get all these people to side with her on it instead of people just coming out and saying, you know what? Nah, you wrong on this. There's no way in the world you're going to tell me that this man was abusing you. Mm -hmm. See, people need to be checked like that because if you don't, if people don't check people like that, what happens is you get people who, who believe that that's abuse. So now you're going to have women saying, if a man tells her, don't be posting pictures, don't be abusing me. What are you talking about? I could post whatever I want. And that's, and that's the thing. You're going to get that as abuse now because women nowadays, they look for every reason for them, not all of them, but a good percentage of them look for every reason for them to be promiscuous. It's period. Every reason for them to be promiscuous. It's a shame. Line, man. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame because like, it seems like, you know, the male species itself, as far as being the alphas of being extinct, totally like dudes are getting wiped out, man. And it's, it's things like this that's making it happen and people and people feed right into it instead of instead of just looking at looking at it as oh Jonah Hill's a decent guy. Oh nah, he's a scumbag. Look what he's saying. But there's nothing in there that states that he's saying something wrong. He's just setting his standards for himself and whoever wants to be with him. But well, you know what's wrong to them? What's wrong to them is that's first of all, that's traditional. People don't like traditional things anymore. And secondly, he that's that's an authoritative position he's taking. And people can't stand that, especially feminists. They can't stand that a man will take an authoritative position over a woman and tell a woman he didn't say it, he didn't say. He didn't say he didn't call her a name and say, listen, you're going to do what I tell you to do. You better delete that. Like he ain't do that. He basically just said, these are my boundaries and I don't like it. And you can do it on your own, but you can't do it with me. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. So no, no, man, you know, got anything else? Nah, man. Like, you know, look, Shout out to Jonah Hill, man. He's still yeah. holding it down. He's still holding it down for the fellas, man. Yeah. Shout out to Jonah Hill. Thank you. you know Thank saying? you. We we see no wrong in what you said, brother. Yeah. Keep up keep, the good work, man. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you, man. We appreciate it, man. For sure.